Hello there, Cancer. Rian, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I do hope you are well. It is such a marvelous day. Giving thanks for all the abundance I am seeing here in this life. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all your show of support on this channel. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments. Much love. Hey. Um, okay. So in this session, remember that this is a general reading. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So do take what applies and the rest let it fly. You know, don't force it to fit. So what I need you to do with me is to breathe deep from the base of your spine so that we can get the most accurate messages out for you cancers. In this session, I am doing answers for cancers. So I ask that you focus on the question that you have, the, the one that you want, the, the one that's most important to you, the most relevant question that you have now. And I already know that for many of you, it's about money. Yeah, it's about money. Some of you, of course, it's it's about love. And for all of you, it's about love. But you're focusing on some money first, all right? But you're not one that gives up. You're not, you don't give up on love, all right, cancer? So, let's see. Breathe with me. Deep. So you're breathing from the, from the base of your spine okay so in envision the energy moving from the base of your spine all the way up you know like when um as carnivals and you hit that thing with the hammer and it goes up to hit the bell that that is the that is the idea taking the air all the way up and then holding it at the top where it hits the bell and then you release your intentions you spread that energy relax and let it flow I am here, we're here. Thank you for being here. Let's get started. <sighs> yes. So I take it that most of you have already, you are already holding your question in mind in this space now. Welcome in, angels, spirits, guides, beloved ancestors into this reading. Let's get answers for cancers. Answers for cancers. The word travel with the world card <laughs> so if it's a yes or no yes you're asking if you will travel see the world yes you will see the world I would love to dive into this energy for you but I want to get the rest of answers because this is so nice. You will see the world. And it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's in, on so many different levels you will see the world. Right? It's not just traveling. Some of you are taking flight. But it's not only that. You will see the world. You see the world. Some of you are asking about change if you will see the world the change in the world if you will see the change and i feel yes you're working some of you are working and you're working for change in the world right now but you know when you're working 
and you're not sure if you'll one day be able to see the bigger picture for what you've been working for. You're just in the midst of working, sweating, just, and you're deep in it. I feel you're not even able to take a break to have this bird's eye view of what you're working for. You're just in it. Um, when the Seven of Swords first came out, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel some of you may think you're losing. Someone is taking from you, depriving you of something. What is that energy? What is that? Hold on. <clears throat> what is that? What's that? Please help me. A flood of water moving. What is this? Can't explain it. Stealing your ideas. be about trust investing the work you're investing in someone may be stealing from taking away from you some new ideas so maybe it's not tangible objects that are being taken it's your energy I hear precious what is precious to you your intuition um, causing you not to have doubts causing you to have doubts are causing you to someone you trust as well I feel you trust in this person fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a new person, an old person, an older person. Okay, I'll leave that there. I hope I hope you got clarity. Do we? All right, more answers. For cancers. Answers for cancers. Ooh, la la, of course. Love. Twin flame soulmates energy. Some of you are asking about that. Some someone is um so maybe someone wants to give up on a connection, wants to move away from a soulmate connection, possibly with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You you ask if you will meet your soulmate, your twin flame, and the answer is yes. You will align. In divine timing, both of you will be blessed to come together in union, divine masculine and feminine. For some of you, this is aligning with your higher self, your higher truth, your intuition, your higher nature. There's something coming together. You're being blessed. That's the energy. You see this? Is either you're being blessed to, to align as one with your higher self or your you and your your soulmate your twin flame are being blessed to come in to one another and you have a powerful force working on your side to gather you two together and it, this journey may not be easy for you both to really um to to bond but it will be beautiful because both of you are learning how to be authentic and true on this journey that you're on so that when you do meet, it will be so beautiful because you're both seeing each other for the truth of who you are. I like the energy. Cancers to cancers. I know you want me to go further, but I have to get more more answers. We have the justice energy for some of you who may be dealing with a legal situation, maybe separating from a lover. May want to move away, move, move, want to travel. The justice is in your favor here. You will find balance here. Some of you are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
or earth signs energy still present taurus virgo capricorn you will have the justice you need you will find balance continue moving with your heart space you're going to align with your your gut your angels are out here so the more you are moving in your heart space wherever you move to you're going to find people or situations circumstances aligning for you to work out in your favor it's as if when you move from your heart space there are other people in whatever legal situation you're dealing with who too are able to see you so if you know be confident be sure of yourself hold your ground gather yourself through breathing know who you are and just be truthful be honest and it's as if I feel those who are of heart are let's say your own soulmates they're there too and they will know you so don't you worry about a thing and this possibly has to do with money you will win you will you will leave with something in your hand in your favor you know it will be dealt in your favor let's continue answers to cancers in just first guys and my beloved ancestors hey and this is nine of pentacles energy So this is saying, yes, you will come into stability in your finances. Yes, you, I feel so calm and so at ease today. Thank you for this energy. All right, it feels like, yeah, definitely, you, definitely you'll be holding on to some money here. You'll feel this money in your hand. You will have a taste of this um, financial stability. It is yours. It is yours. Look at her feeling that money. See that? allowing it to grow to prosper to multiply it and you are the one that's manifesting this so it's coming into your world okay um some of you are single and focusing on your finances and you're happy actually you're learning how to reconnect you may have a garden you may work in your garden or you work outdoors you may work with nature. You may work with nature. I don't feel like you're planting food, but I do feel it's something to do with the land of earth. And it's it's beautiful because I hear prime and I hear supreme. The way you move your energy is nice, it's powerful, it's radiant, it's confident. And when you when you get into this vibration, cancer, you're this is when you light up like this. Because the Nine of Pentacles, I don't want to forget to say, this is my Goku energy. This is powering up inside out, radiating, because you found that confidence within your internal space. And so it just comes naturally forth from you. That energy of Goku powering up. Do you see all of this light around this person? And so I do feel once you start to earn, it will be something that you've, you've built in yourself. Something substantial that cannot be taken away from you. Something, well, something that you've manifested. So once you keep your hand or keep working, it's going to keep manifesting for you. It's sure to, come to, to continue being a stable source of income for you Ooh. you are what is this something about you you're different you are it's 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 as if you you know someone who is possibly uh, a rastafarian at heart but you don't like you hold certain values true and I feel you're very spiritual, well, of course, you're spiritual, but I'm just telling you, according to this card, you're not only focused on wealth, you're spiritual. You have faith, there's some, something that you hold on to, that's, that's, that's your faith or your trust. It could be crystals, you could wear crystals around your neck or something, because you believe in spirituality, in manifesting. 
and it's not just Christian. It's as if it's it could be a religion as well. Some something that you adorn yourself with that reminds you of your faith. Answers for cancers. Oh, something will be returned onto you. And for those of you who need to involve the law, do so. It will be on your side, the law, that is. If someone is trying to steal from you or to displace you, it's going, it's being stopped. This person is going to be stopped in their tracks. They'll be stripped of everything they've taken from you. They'll be demanded, commanded to give, to return what's, what belongs to you. For some of you, this is money. And they may be locked up, who knows? That's what the justice energy is. Some of you are blocking a connection from someone that wants to come into you with things that don't belong to them. Could be words. Things that they're speaking that they stole, they took from someone else. You know, because someone, people take people's words. They listen to how another person speaks and they're like, oh, I'm claiming this. And then they want to come and speak to you as if it's coming from them. But look, it, it don't really belong to them, you know. Copyright issues as well, things like that. But this person, whatever it is, it won't succeed. It will not prosper. So you're being told to block, to stand firm, to be determined, to use your willpower, to focus your intentions on where you need to be, to be stern, firm, grounded, committed in what you believe in is true. All right. You're crowned as well because you know the word. You hold the sword. So you're not one to, ease, to be easily toppled. You're going to be okay. I believe in you. I truly do. I believe in you. And I feel you may have a little bit of doubt. Alright? And that's okay. I still feel you're standing firm. You're going to be fine, I feel. You're, you're okay. And you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Yes, it's important for you to stay grounded as well, physically, emotionally, spiritually grounded. Spiritually grounded, physically grounded by being outside, literally connecting with earth. Spiritually grounded by knowing that the power is within you. You hold the sword, this is your story. Spiritually grounded meaning you can call on your ancestors. You know you have protection and Whatever divination tools you have to use to guide and protect yourself. And you have the environment around you. I feel your environment is, is working with you right now. So feel that. It's, it's about being present as well. So, and you will know the truth. All right, next. Answers. Okay, answers. Next. You're wondering if you should walk away if because this is your soulmate or you feel so you feel this is your soulmate so you're wondering if you should walk away you want to find something that's more valuable that makes you feel valuable makes you feel in purpose because at this point you may be going around in circles you know, cold, meaning you're not hot, meaning you're feeling like you're not manifesting. And so you want this change, especially when it comes to your finances. What you're thinking, maybe you have to move away from a, a relationship or a business or a romantic relationship first. 
but I feel you're moving. If you aren't physically moving, your heart is moving. Your feelings are moving. Because being in this situation, you're, get, you're, you're starting to know what it is that you do want. And when you look around you and you're seeing you're not able to prosper in this situation, you're naturally going to want to walk away. All right? And maybe if you walk away, this person, they will come to some realization that something really needs to change. But don't walk away so someone can realize they need to change. You, you need to walk away for you. Just for you and your heart. It's as if your heart is your own child and your child is saying, Mommy, I'm not safe. I'm not comfortable. I, I'm not prospering here. I want, I want to change. And your heart has been telling you this for a long time. And so now you say, okay, my darling, let's go. So you're not alone. You're not alone. You and your heart. It's as if you have someone to listen to you, someone to listen to. That is the, the journey between you and your heart space. And it has to do with your value system. You being feeling valuable, you being of service to others, you putting yourself out there, you exploring more of your talents and your gifts, you becoming financially independent, right? Not reliant on a counterpart for self to feel sufficient. You want to be self sufficient. And let's see, I hear karma. Answers for cancers. Answers for cancers. Um, mm. You may be asking if it is okay to make the move. And this is not just in love. This is to, ch to, to chase your dreams, to follow your heart, to put yourself out there, to make a proposal in business and offering. So yes, it's okay to do that, to put yourself out there, trust in the flow of your emotions. Your, your emotions are energy moving through you. So what, what, what I'm saying is just go with the flow. <laughs> You know, just go with the flow of your emotions. Even if you get disappointed, it's okay. The flow continues. You are going to move past that disappointment and you're going to continue flowing. Trust in your emotions. And this is going to be a hell of a breakthrough for you. You know, it's a, it's a great step forward that you need to take, putting yourself out there like this. And it's going to pay off. It's beautiful. You're following in your heart. You're remaining grounded. You're uh, leading from a place of being sure, of grace, of confidence. So trust that energy and trust that whatever comes of the situation is best for you. That's the justice energy as well. You put yourself out there and you get what's due for you. If you remain I don't want to use the word stagnant, but that's the word that's coming. It's not meant to be derogatory or disrespectful, but stagnant literally means not moving water. That's not moving. If you remain as water that is not moving or become re renewed, then you become stagnant water. And that means justice is not working in your favor because So if you're not getting returns or opportunities, it's because you're not putting yourself out there. So justice is just saying, give this a chance. Whatever comes, let it be. You get what I'm saying? This is your justice. This is how you bring to you what you want. It's kind of like karma. You be who you are and you attract what you are, what you be. That's justice. Okay? Some of you, someone may want to come into you and you're wondering if you should accept this offer. It could be a blessing, a spiritual gift, 
an atonement, an apology from a fellow water sign or an earth sign. Some of you may want to return to an earth sign, one that you disconnected from, to apologize, to have some... <clears throat> Maybe you're not, maybe it's, a, maybe you're trying to wish someone well. I'm going to do one more row here. All right, answers for cancers. What is that for? Four more. We're doing four more. Uno. Answers for cancers. Dos. This could be another person. They're upset, probably at you. I don't know, maybe you're not communicating with this person and they're upset. This could be you, being upset at someone. Masculine energy, chasing your dreams, having your own business, working. But you're a bit distracted because maybe you're not hearing from someone. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You feel grumpy or this energy because they're not hearing from you. They're upset. Some of you are being told, Ooh, I like this energy. It's, you see how this king is focusing on this, the wand? It's as if he's focusing so intently, he's manifesting the leaves bursting out of it. That energy of watching something grow in front of you just by focused intention and taking action. Some of you are working on your business and I feel you've just got into a position where you feel like you are running, you're at the head of your business or at the top or something. And now it's time for you to really take charge in this seat and watch your business grow and you're going to dedicate yourself, put your all into it to get what it is, your desired outcome. And this could be someone wanting something with you, cancer, and not just a business. Someone may want to come back around to you in your heart space. So this is another answer. The Hermit card, Virgo, energy, seeking clarity, wanting answers, looking from a different perspective. And this could be the person that you blocked, the same person that maybe was stealing from you, stealing your words and your ideas, your thoughts, your feelings. Okay. This person may be on lockdown or timeout. Thing, I feel like this person is on lockdown or timeout or something, and they're thinking, they're introspecting, they're something about this person this person's heart as if they're beginning to feel their heart or getting commute contacts with their heart relating to their heart but it has something to do with your heart cancerian this could be love this could be a person that you loved and cared for or that really really cared for you and they may if it's someone that hurts you i feel this person you know may regret this, may regret doing what they did and um, they may want to say like they are apologizing. Maybe you're not hearing this from them, but this is how they feel. The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, things will work out for you. If you are separating from a person, if you're chasing your dreams, if you're working on your business, if you want to travel, if you want you to meet your soulmate, if you want to put yourself out there, if you're blocking a connection, if you're dealing with legal issues, whatever it is, it's working out for you. Wheel of Fortune Energy. This is a, an abundance of blessings and little things, just the, the universe aligning for you. And I feel once you take the steps necessary, once you're following in your heart, that's what I'm saying. When you're following in your heart, things align for you. 
is that energy that I was saying earlier. If you're going to court, trust you are. If you're dealing with any issues, trust in your heart space and in your soul mates are within every, they're, they're wherever you are and whatever you're going through. With the Wheel of Fortune energy, that's how I'm feeling, all right? So just follow your heart and then the cooperative components just line up along the way and take the steps necessary. Answers for cancers. <clears throat> Some of you are asking about healing, healing and new beginnings. You're gonna be blessed with a new opportunity, it's a new business, a new idea, a new perspective. If you're asking, if you're gonna put yourself out there to connect with another person in business, you may be granted this opportunity with the Ace of Wands to do so. Justice is on your favor. So align with the energies, know what you want, know why you want it, and go after what it is that you want. <clears throat> if you're walking away, you're walking into some new connections. All right. Overall, I do feel just new things coming into your world, new experiences, new dreams. And so this is what I have for you in this session of answers for cancers. And that's the sun energy, the ten of pentacles, success and abundance, prosperity, joy, riches, fame, satisfaction, new beginnings manifestation working dreaming hoping and the chariot energy abundance coming into you so keep doing what you're doing be on your journey i hope these messages find you in good spirit much love blessings to you uh anything else thank you so much for your likes shares comments subscribes on my channel things are working out for you remember that art is within you and i'll see you in the next reading cancer much love bye